Germany Foreign Minister Zorab Munatsagayan is holding a meeting with the OSC Ministry of Co-Chairs in Vienna. The meeting of Armenian and Azerbaijani ministers will follow. The meeting comes a day before the talks between Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev. The government of Armenia has allocated $300,000 from the state budget to the respected international organization to conduct a study at Amusar gold mine. If the conclusions are negative, then it can be said that there are environmental risks here for the water system of Jermuk and for Lake Sevan, and that's why the given project will be completely closed, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said when speaking in the parliament. The Prime Minister added that the matter had been put off a bit also because Lydia Armenian Company, which manages Amusar gold mine, had not cooperated with the government. President of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe PACE, Lilian Mori Pasquier, on Thursday participated in the opening ceremony for Europe Square at Northern Avenue in downtown Yerevan. Pasquier noted above all that this square recalls that Europe is not an abstract concept but a system that includes everyone's rights and liberties. The mayor of Yerevan presented the Europe Square certificate to the PACE president and announced the opening of this square. Opening ceremony of the Orbele Analytical Research Center took place Wednesday in Yerevan. The event was attended by Armenian President Armen Sarkisyan, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and several other senior officials. Orbele Center, which is a project of the Public Relations and Information Center of the Armenian Prime Minister's staff, conducts research and analysis related to the regions, sectors of economy, security, internal and external policies, infrastructures, media and some other spheres. Analysts publish their research and analytical work on the Arbelli Center website. 35 U.S. representatives have joined Congressional Armenian Caucus co-chair Frank Plone in calling upon lawmakers of the House Appropriations Subcommittee on State Foreign Operations to back a $100 million fiscal year 2028 package for Artsakh and Armenia. As for Azerbaijan, these lawmakers call to suspend all U.S. military assistance to this country.